Hey everyone, it's Commodore. So, um, I haven't done a video in a while. I said I was going to do some and got crazy busy in my schedule, as always, wonky, whatever. So, but anyway, um, and I'm dying seeing everybody make uh, these awesome ladies here on YouTube making the resin molds and using them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like, you know what? I tell anything, get in the car. We got to get some resin. I'm like, you know what? I have tons of molds. I just ordered some from D and I just got some from Dean. You guys uh, might have seen that haul video. And just an FYI, you guys, she is doing another group buy um, where... These are the ones, and I'll show you, I'll go through some molds that I have and everything, I'll show you what I got last time, and, um, I got this one, it has so many of them, and I think Marilyn showed this one, and I'm like, totally died, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get that mold, and then she showed it which one it was, and I'm like, dude, you totally have that one already, uh, duh, so here's the problem, I haven't used them, and I have to, because I'm dying what these ladies are making, I was about to, I actually was going to message them, hey, can you just sell me some, but then I'm like, dude, you have them. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go buy the resin um, because I have so much stuff to work with. And I'm, what I'm going to use is this, and, you know, we'll go through the process, see how it works out um, in this video. I'm going to use this hardy clay, and this I got at Hobby Lobby, and it's super lightweight modeling clay. Like, seriously, this thing is five ounces. It's just like it weighs and like nothing. And what I like about it is that it's acid-free. So being acid free, I know that I can use it on my scrapbook things, use it as charms, use it whatever. So I don't have to worry about it if I give someone a card because many of the times I've actually given people cards or, you know, um, pieces that I've made and they save them, you know, and I don't want them, you know, because of whatever clay I use or whatever, it's, it'd be no good for it. Um, I've actually, um, Nathan, I think the most like flattering thing anyone's ever done, Nathan's mom had asked me to make, um, Somebody needed a really beautiful and over-embellished card for their um, grandmother's 80th birthday or whatever. I got paid an absurd amount of money to do it. I'm like, you know, you know, it doesn't, you know, you guys, whatever. The lady loved it so much. And this is like one of the most flattering things anyone's done with one of my pieces. She took it to Michael's uh, or to Aaron Brothers or something. It was the same thing, the same company. And she had a custom shadow box made for it. I was like... What? Like, I was beyond myself. I'm like, I think if she loved it so much, she wanted to um, keep it that way and make sure, you know? So I'm like, okay. And that's why I like to use good products. I like to use good things. I use the right adhesives so it doesn't turn everything yellow and, you know, whatever. So anyway, so with that said, once again, you guys, I apologize. By the way, I worked all night. I just had a 12-hour shift at work, and I want to kill myself. But I can't because I want to play with these dang molds and make something. So anyway, back to these. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description down here for her Facebook. So you guys can see she has several of these. These are nothing compared to the ones um, she has more. Some of these she's she's doing reorders, but she has several new ones. And they are bananas. Like, I totally got some. So anyway, so this is the hearts. These are the hearts. This is the, fr the frame. Okay, this is how kooky I am. I ordered another one of these so I can make a bunch of them. Okay? And you know why. You guys know why. Anyway, and this one... This one with the cherub and the little hearts. And I ordered I ordered some that I didn't order last time because I was like, no, nah, I won't need them. You know, whatever. But now I'm like, I totally want them. And I store mine in these little tubs. And you'll see these tubs. My mom got like a yard sale for like a nickel or something. She's like, here, they had these. Oh, no, they gave them to her. She bought some stuff. And she's like, here. And I didn't know what to do with them. So I just put my molds in them. So these are the molds I got from Dean. Like I said, you guys, check it out. Seriously, super awesome. Um, good deals. And I don't have to like order them myself from China. So anyway, so in the past, I have been known to be naughty, and I used this mold. And you can see what these shapes are. I wanted to try it. I used, to, and this is another reason why I didn't want to go and buy the resin because I've and because this is from that amazing mold putty, um, which is the same thing that everybody's using. The same company, um, they're using the amazing mold resin, and I use so much of it. I'm like, you know what? I spent a lot of money on just going crazy in these. Some of these I didn't even like remake or use. So I have some of, I'll move those out of the way, some Martha Stewart molds. I have these, the ones, you know, that came with the, her paper clay, that came in the sets. I've only made some out of this one, some of the fern. That fern is so thin, it's crazy. It is so thin. I've made cherries. Um, this one was from the jewelry line that she had for like two seconds at Michael's and nobody bought it and because all of her crap is overpriced. I've made several of these. Um, some stars. I've made these bows. Super deep. I've made this heart. 
Um, don't know where it is. And there's a strawberry. Marilyn, you have to get that one. You need it. And here's a frame. And then there's this one. Look at the letters. This is a Martha Stewart one, too. I've used this a couple of times. The letters come out so awesome because it's like less than a quarter inch deep. So they come up. But you have to be very careful with these little uh, corners and edges. This one is from the Wilton ones. I only bought this one. I was going to buy more, but I just didn't see the point. I only, honestly, truth be told, I bought them for the ferns. This stuff, eh. The butterflies, very childlike. So, yeah. So, anyhow. So, there's that. This is going to be a mess putting it back together. This one, uh, what I like about this one, I... With the clay, it's this way. It's it's long-wise. And this is, I think, a Melissa Francis. Sorry, Melissa. I love you anyway. Um, but before it's while it's drying, I folded it, and, it, and you can have this little arch. So you can fold, and that's what I like about the clay ones. And this one, um, I went ahead and I took some paint, and then I just rubbed it off. I did some green there and some purple, so you can see these... Um, this has color and dimension because the color goes into the, the flower and you can, you know, rub it off and then it'll look lighter. Just some different ones. This one I try to make look a little bit more vintage and grungy. So yeah, so a lot of these and like this thing broke because it's like super brittle. This is the butter, one of the butterflies from Martha Stewart. It broke. Um, so yeah, and just like several of them. But like I said, you can paint them and that's what I like about the clays. You can bend it and change it. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to totally jumped out. I'm going to do the frame and I'm going to use what I, I also with the, um, with this clay and just like any other paper clay or whatever, you can color it with, um, with acrylic paint or reinkers. These are Stampin' Up! reinkers and this one is, um, it's something. It, okay, there we go. Pool party. And this one is called Bermuda Bay. I got them because I want, like, a uh, Robin's Egg Blue, of course, right? Because I'm kooky like that. Um, frame so I can um, try it out. So, I usually, I can, you can wear gloves and not whatever, you know. Let's see how messy I can get today. Um, and so it comes out like this. Sorry for the twinkling, guys. This clay has, like, almost a foam texture. And it has a little bit of a funky smell the moment you open it. But once you start kneading it, it um, because you have to knead it, any clay people need it. I feel bad when people are like, oh, my clay didn't work out. Oh, you didn't need it. Anyway, um, so, and here's another thing. I was, you know, <laughs> you guys know I like to shop. But I didn't want to go and buy the resin because I don't have the alcohol inks, um, I think, that everybody's using for the resin that you have to use because you can't use re -inkers. Please know, don't go and use your re on your resin and blame it on me that it didn't work. Because it's 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 water based, so you can't use that. Okay, be good, people. Um, so anyway, and I'm distracted, and half the time um, the resin, it, you have to do it really quick. So you know, and you can't mess it up. So I figured I'd try it with clay. So we're gonna find out how it works, and this might be an epic fail, you guys. So we're learning as we go. I so you guys can see I'm human. I make boo boos. All right. So I just start out with maybe one or two, three drops. Um, because I did make... Oh, and by the way, this is the same clay that I use for my... Where are my macarons? Um, let me show you guys. Ooh, making a mess. That I use to make my macarons for this... Uh, for my um, project for Art Attack. This is the same one. And look, you guys. It's still... It's so super dry. Let me see if I can focus. And... Oh, maybe not. Super dry... It kept its shape. It didn't crack. It's seriously sturdy. Totally, totally love it. And that's what I used here on that. So that's the same clay. And like I said, I liked it so much when I was done that um, I might need to go to the store with me to get some more. So I can use a coupon. So anyway, so back to the kneading. And you can see a little bit of the ink it's starting to take color. And since this is white, white, we're going to need more. Actually, we're going to go ahead and try it with this we're going to try it on the heart okay there it is 
totally smooth, came out just fine. But I think it's because this one is a, is it focusing, sweet Jesus? Um, this one is a solid shape. It was probably much easier. So I can just put this aside, let it dry, or make a bunch of them, um, and do it with that. I'm just wondering how long it would take to maybe uh, keep its shape in this probably a few minutes, because this stuff begins to dry, and it's super light. Like, seriously, look. And that probably doesn't mean anything, but um, it is super light, and you can put it on plants. your plants. Um, I got to make those, but anyhow. I guess I will have to get my happy butt <laughs> to the store and get some resin for these more intricate ones. But I was thinking, you know what? What the heck? How about if I make... I've been dying to make... Um, as you guys saw my macaroons, I've been dying to make um, a heart-shaped one. So I was thinking, can I make them with a D's um, heart mold? So we're going to find out. Once again, experimenting like we lost our minds. So I just went ahead and did that. And um, you need two pieces. Let me put that aside. And I'll show you guys how I do. And I will also put a link to the videos. I actually followed some YouTube tutorials um, by Flippin' Mio and... Puff Teak, um, they have amazing videos, you guys, so check them out um, for clay, wool felting, and stuff like that, and beautiful um, projects, and um, a lot of macaroon tutorials. So, and also just to make sure I get a flat edge, just do that. All right, so we will put pull this out of the mold, okay? That one didn't come out perfect, but I didn't squeeze it out perfect. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead. We have our top and our bottom. Okay, I wanted to have a surface so you guys can see. Oop. Sideways how I do it. You have to bring down part of it to create that section. Oop, not even in frame, and that's special. To create the section that has the what's called feet first you bring it down and whether you make you're making um, any shape you bring it down like this and then you go in and you texturize it so you're bringing it down but you don't want to do so much that you um, that you lose the shape like I just did right there but it'll be it can be fixed just when you um when you go around and texturizing it you can fix it and they use exacto knives they use all kinds of things i just use my stylus because i have some i have a few fine point styluses or styli um that i use and so yeah so then you have like a little ring around and i used my um paper piercer to then go in, and I could probably just hold it like this, to then go in and, I'm a horrible tutorialist, to then go in and you create, in little circles, create that little texture effect. It pops out, pop it back in. And you just go in little circles. It takes a little bit of patience. Once you do your first, um, your first one, it'll be second nature. And you just go in little circles, little texture to add that, texture that they have right there and truth be told when I got this mold from D I didn't even think about doing the heart um, see look a little piece came off you just start like pushing it back in right there and it's back to being part of the and don't squeeze your um, you could do this on a flat surface the only reason I'm doing it sideways is so you guys can see how I did it and it's much easier as opposed to looking at um, just a flat surface so yeah and you go around to the whole thing. Um, and like I said, if you have it on a flat surface as you do this, you won't, um, you won't damage your heart. I'm squeezing it a little bit because I've never done it this way. <laughs> I've never, um, and this is just for the tutorial, I just do it on the surface in here. Now that I've shown you guys how to do it like that, I can show you that it's so much easier oh, if I'm even in frame so much easier to do it on the surface because it keeps it flat and then when it pops out you just pop it back in I always maybe just push it a little bit and you can see the feet right there and look at that okay so now we're going to do 
the um, this one, and it's probably easier for me to do it with my uh, with my paper plants. Um, I got to make those, but anyhow. I guess I will have to get my happy butt to the store and get some resin for these more intricate ones. But I was thinking, you know what? What the heck? How about if I make... I've been dying to make... Um, as you guys saw, my macaroons. I've been dying to make um, a heart-shaped one. So I was thinking, can I make them with a D's um, heart mold? So we're going to find out. Once again, experimenting like we've lost our minds. So I just went ahead and did that. And um, you need two pieces let me put that aside and I'll show you guys how I do and I will also put a link to the videos I actually followed some YouTube tutorials um, by Flippin Mio and Puffteek um, they have amazing videos you guys so check them out um, for clay wool felting and stuff like that and beautiful um, projects and um, a lot of macaroon tutorials so and also, just to make sure I get a flat edge, just do that. All right, so we will put pull this out of the mold, okay? That one didn't come out perfect, but I didn't squeeze it out perfect. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead. We have our top and our bottom, and this is how, let me bring, this is how, how I learned to make the feet, as it's called, for, if I can just grab some over here, for the mold for the uh, macaroon. I've been asked if I use a mold. They do have molds. I did not use a mold for this one, for the round one. It's just, you know, rolling it out in a ball. So, you're going to go ahead and press down. You can use, um, I probably need to use something flatter. Let me get something else. Okay, I wanted to have a surface so you guys can see. Oop. Sideways how I do it. You have to bring down part of it to create that section. Oop, not even in frame, isn't that special? To create the section that has the what's called feet. First, you bring it down, and whether you make, you're make you making um, any shape, you bring it down like this, and then you go in and you texturize it. So you're bringing it down, but you don't want to do so much that you um, that you lose the shape like I just did right there. But it'll be, it can be fixed just when you... Um, when you go around and texturizing it, you can fix it. And they use exacto knives. They use all kinds of things. I just use my stylus because I have some. I have a few fine point styluses or styli um, that I use. And so yeah. So then you have like a little ring around. And I used my um, paper piercer to then go in, and I could probably just hold it like this. To then go in and I'm a horrible tutorialist. To then go in and you create in little circles, create that little texture effect. It pops out, pop it back in, and you just go in little circles. It takes a little bit of patience. Once you do your first, um, your first one, it'll be second nature. And you just go in little circles, little texture to add that texture that they have right there. And truth be told, when I got this mold from D, I didn't even think about doing the heart. Um, see, look, a little piece came off. You just start, like, pushing it back in right there. And it's back to being part of the... And don't squeeze your... Um, you could do this on a flat surface. The only reason I'm doing it sideways is so you guys can see how I did it. And it's much easier as opposed to looking at um, just a flat surface. So, yeah. And you go around to the whole thing. Um, and like I said, if you have it on a flat surface as you do this, 
you won't um you won't damage your heart. I'm squeezing it a little bit because I've never done it this way. <laughs> I've never um and this is just for the tutorial. I just do it on the surface in here. Now that I've shown you guys how to do it like that, I can show you that it's so much easier. Oh, if I'm even in frame. So much easier to do it on the surface because it keeps it flat. And then when it pops out, you just pop it back in. I always maybe just push it a little bit and you can see the feet right there. And look at that. Okay, so now we're going to do the um, this one. And it's probably easier for me to do it with my, uh, with my paper piercer because it's not as wide like my stylus. So we're just... Oops totally squish that one and this one's gonna be the bottom so <laughs> well it is now um this is so embarrassing oh there we go again and you can always honestly truth be told you can always um push it and uh fix it so yeah just go in little circles if it looks like you pulled it out too much and just push the clay back in and there you go little circles little circles and also, I always just do maybe a little bit, I just tap it with my finger just a little bit, gets it back, makes it in that um, softer crescent. I just totally stabbed my heart. Um, smooth texture. And see, and, and you're just going, once you start, you can go back and then just push them in a little bit. I didn't see that on their video because theirs were perfect, you guys. I mean... Just the way some people create amaze me all the time. All of the time, trust me. Okay, so there, that is that. So there we go. And you can even bring it down a little bit to maybe make it look deeper. See? Blam. And this air dry clay does dry completely in um, 24 hours, um, I think. Or it's like 12 hours or something. So anyway, so we're going to now go and make the... Um, the filling and I have some here and the filling could be the same color it could be darker I want it to be a shade darker so we're going to experiment yet again let's see how it goes to I'll just put it a little oops oh, it's gonna be a lot more darker we're gonna find out but I have an extra little piece of clay that I can always add to it if it's too dark and here's where the part that gets all over my fingers because it's a little bit of clay um, and right there, it's, to me, it might not be showing up on the camera. It's a little dark. So we're going to take half of that and half of this. See right there. You add some more clay. You can even add white clay. Just white clay to it, and it'll lighten it, like, a lot better. Let me move this over so I can knead it better. And I still think it's a little too bright. So we're going to go ahead and just add a little piece. And I should really cover my clay, um, add a little piece of the white clay to lighten it up, and there you can see, and I might have let my clay dry out, but once you start kneading it, it gets back into the rhythm of things, so yes, and, um, so I've seen tutorials where what they do is make a little worm with this, and they put it around the outside and then just fill the inside um, of the mold. So we're going to go ahead and try that. So yeah, so here is my clay. We're going to smooth it out. Excuse. Da, 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 da. I don't want to make it too thick. And if you roll it out and kind of stretch it, it'll get like a little texture, which you kind of want that little bit of texture on the um on the inside of it okay so we're going to do this and this clay once you press it trust me it'll stick and if not the pieces are um the pieces are solid enough that you if it didn't work out you can definitely go back in and glue them together so okay so here is that and we're just going to use this stuff so we don't waste it on the inside. So you make a little heart, stick it in there. Which one was my bottom? Okay, that one was the bottom. 
so yeah so here we go and I'm going to actually I have an idea of sticking it back in the mold so it kinda retains the shape press it down a little bit there you go and I always on my round ones I always went over it a little bit like this to bring it over and give it more dimension boom oh my gosh I totally love it and this was just like screwing around here um, so yeah, and I just fidget with it a little bit, like it's it's air dry clay and it's still going to be drying. Um, and honestly, you can set this aside in an hour, it's it's solid. And if you feel that it needs a little bit more texture, you can still go in and add some texture. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I started to mess with this thing, with these uh, molds. So do you totally love this mold? Honestly, it came up to be more than what I wanted to use it for. I was just going to make hearts, um, like the hearts of those, um, what are those? The, um, oh my goodness, the little resin thingamajiggies that they just, you just put on your scrapbooks. So anyway, so yeah, so check it out, you guys. I just totally made a heart macaron. Absolutely love it. Um, with practice, I will probably get better at it. Um, the other ones, my when I made my round macarons, oops, it took me a while anyway to get me, like, I did one or two, and then I was like, boom. I was on a roll. Let's see right there. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely love this. Love it. So you guys will be seeing those. And if I have a swap, maybe I'll include those in my swap. How freaking cute. Cute, cute, cute. So, yes. So, you guys, I will go ahead and leave a link to... That's so crazy. I can't believe I totally did it. Um, to these channel in the description. I hope you guys like it. Hey, we learned along the way. I learned that I can't use the clay for the intricate ones, but for the larger, solid things, I can. I guess I am going to have to take my happy butt to go get some resin. Alright? Hopefully the light isn't that bad. The sun is coming up. It is, I don't know what time here in Vegas. Um, oh my goodness. I totally love it. So yes, I made some heart macaroons. So alright, you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. And yeah, take care. Bye, everyone.